Good morning, everyone. Glad to see you all again here in Valenzuela Live Mathematics 8. I am your live streaming teacher, Ms. Rhea Lee Restu. Before we start our today's lesson, kindly prepare your module, pen, and notebook for you to write your notes as we go through our discussion. You can also use the chat box to key in your answers to the questions that I will be asking throughout the discussion. Are you all ready to learn our new lesson? Great! Let's start! Our topic for today is about proving properties of parallel lines caught by a transversal. Our today's competency based on MELX is Prove properties of parallel lines caught by a transversal. To begin with, let us review about parallel lines caught by a transversal by having the short activity called You're the Best. What you need to do is to identify the illustration that represents the given statement. Tap the reaction that represents the best answer. You will be given 10 seconds to react in your answer. Are you ready, grade 8 students? Let's start. Number 1. Line S and line T are parallel. Is it wow or K reaction? 10 seconds. Go. Time is up. The correct answer is the K reaction. Good job! Parallel lines are two coplanar lines that never intersect. These markings signify that the two or the two lines are parallel. Let us proceed to number two. Line X is a transversal. 10 seconds. Go! Time is up. The correct answer is the K reaction. Transversal is a line that intersects two or more lines at different or distinct points. Next item, item number three. Angle one and angle two are corresponding angles. Is it wow or K reaction? Ten seconds. Go. Time is up. The correct answer is the wow reaction. Excellent! Corresponding angles are pair of an interior angle and an exterior angle that are not adjacent and on the same side of the transversal. In the given figure, the pairs of corresponding angles are angle 1 and angle 5, angle 2 and angle 6, Angle 3 and angle 7, and angle 4 and angle 8. Let us now have item number 4. Angle 1 and angle 2 are alternate exterior angles. Is it wow or K reaction? Timer starts now. Time is up. The correct answer is the K reaction. Alternate exterior angles are pair of non-adjacent exterior angles that are on opposite sides of the transversal. Considering the figure below, the pairs of alternate exterior angles are angle 1 and angle 8 and angle 2 and angle 7. While Alternate interior angles are pair of non-adjacent interior angles that are on opposite sides of the transversal. Given the same figure, the pairs of alternate interior angles are angle 3 and angle 6 and angle 4 and angle 5. 
And now, for the last item, item number 5. Angle 1 and angle 2 are same side interior angles. Is it the wow or care reaction? Timer starts now. Time is up. The correct answer is the wow reaction. Great job! Same side interior angles are interior angles that lie on the same side of a transversal. In the figure, the pairs of same side interior angles are angle 3 and angle 5 and angle 4 and angle 6. We also have same side exterior angles. These are exterior angles that lie on the same side of a transversal. In the figure, the pairs of same side exterior angles are angle 1 and angle 7 and angle 2 and angle 8. Before we proceed with our topic, let me share with you an interesting fact about parallel lines. Parallel lines play vital roles on our daily lives. We typically see parallel lines in railway tracks, markings on road, pedestrian lanes, or even in various buildings and architectural structures to ensure their stability. We can also see parallel lines in architectural structures as pillars, wooden walls, and balusters, just like the Museo Valenzuela. Masaya Valenzuela is located at Marolas, Valenzuela City and named after Dr. Pio Valenzuela. This museum is the city's historical and cultural landmark. It has a Spanish-themed architecture whose facade is laced with woodwork that resembles heritage houses. It features collection of artifact artifacts depicting the city's past and continuing development. Or it also serves as a repository of the city's rich heritage and an inspiration to its people and guests. It is likewise a venue for historical and cultural and artistic presentation as well as seminars and symposia on national and local issues. Museo Valenzuela is only one of many examples of architectural structures that obtains parallel lines. Moving on, let's consider this figure. Line A and line B are parallel lines cut by a transversal T and eight angles were formed. The measure of each angles or each angle are also given as shown in the figure. Let's identify the pairs of corresponding angles in the figure. We have angle 1 and angle 5, angle 2 and angle 6, angle 4 and angle 8, and angle 3 and angle 7. Compare the measure of each pair of corresponding angles. What have you noticed? Correct! Each pair of corresponding angles has equal measures. Now, let's identify the pairs of alternate exterior angles. We have angle 1 and angle 7 and angle 2 and angle 8. Again, I wanted to compare the measure of each pair of alternate exterior angles. What have you noticed? Correct! Each pair of alternate exterior angles also has equal measures. Good job! Let's have pairs of alternate interior angles. We have angle 4 and angle 6 and angle 3 and angle 5. Once more, compare the measure of each pair of alternate interior angles. So just like alternate exterior angles, each pair of alternate interior angles has equal measures. And last but not the least, let's identify the pairs of same side interior angles. 
we have angle 4 and angle 5 and angle 3 and angle 6. Just like the other three, I want you to compare the measure of each pair of same side interior angles and share your observation with us in the comment section. As you can see, each pair of same side interior angles has different measurements. And when we add their measures, we will get a sum of 180. Good job! So considering this information that we got, postulate and theorems were revealed. Here are the postulate and theorems of parallel lines caught by a transversal. The first one is the corresponding angles postulate, which states that if two parallel lines are caught by a transversal, then the corresponding angles are congruent. Let's have parallel lines A and B caught by A transversal T. According to the corresponding angles postulate, angle 1 is congruent to angle 5, angle 2 is congruent to angle 6, angle 4 is congruent to angle 8, and angle 3 is congruent to angle 7. So, if the measure of angle 1 is 55 degrees, then the measure of angle 5 is also 55 degrees. And if the measure of angle 6 is 125 degrees, then the measure of angle 2 is also 125 degrees. Next is the alternate interior angles theorem. This states that if two parallel lines are caught by a transversal, then the alternate interior angles are congruent. Let us prove this theorem given line 1 is parallel to line 2 and T is a transversal. Let's prove angle 2 is congruent to angle 3. In proving this, let us use a two-column proof. Let's start. For the first statement, line 1 is parallel to line 2 and T is a transversal. Reason? Given. Second statement, angle 1 is congruent to angle 2. Reason? Vertical angles theorem. For the third statement, we have angle 1 is congruent to angle 3. Reason, corresponding angles postulate. Based on statement 2 and 3, we can say that angle 2 is congruent to angle 3 by transitive property of congruence. Let's proceed with the next theorem. We have the alternate exterior angles theorem. This theorem states that if two parallel lines are caught by a transversal, then the alternate exterior angles are congruent. Given the figure, line 1 is parallel to line 2 and M is a transversal. Let us prove that angle 1 is congruent to angle 3 using the two-column proof. Starting with statement number 1, Line 1 is parallel to line 2 and M is a transversal. Reason given. Statement number 2. Angle 1 is congruent to angle 2. Reason, vertical angles theorem. For statement number 3, we have angle 2 is congruent to angle 3. Reason, corresponding angles postulate. And lastly, based on the second and third, third statements, we can conclude that angle 1 is congruent to angle 3 by transitive property of congruence. Can you still catch up, students? Great! Let us now have the last theorem. The same side interior angles theorem. 
This theorem states that if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then the same side interior angles are supplementary. To prove this theorem, let us have line 1 is parallel to line 2 and D is a transversal. Using the two-column proof, let's prove that angle 2 and angle 3 are supplementary. To begin with, what do you think is the first statement? Comment your answer on the comment box. So, the first statement is, line 1 is parallel to line 2 and T is a transversal. And the reason is, given. Did you get it right? Good job! Let's proceed to statement number 2. We have angle 1 and angle 2 are supplementary angles. Reason? Linear pair postulate. Considering statement number 2, we can say that the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 is equal to 180 degrees or 180 by the definition of supplementary angles. For statement number 4, we have angle 1 is congruent to angle 3. Reason? Corresponding angles postulate. Considering statement number 4, what do you think should be our next statement? Comment your answers below. Statement number 5 is the measure of angle 1 is equal to the measure of angle 3 by the definition of congruent angles. Excellent! Now, considering statement numbers 3 and 5, we can say that the measure of angle 3 plus the measure of angle 2 is equal to 180 degrees by substitution. Therefore, angle 2 and angle 3 are supplementary by the definition of supplementary angles. We are now done proving the theorems on parallel lines cut by a transversal. These theorems and postulate leads us or lead us to the following properties of parallel lines cut by a transversal and these are the following. We have Corresponding angles are congruent. Alternate interior angles are congruent. Alternate exterior angles are congruent. And same side interior angles are supplementary. Let us apply these properties in answering these examples. Example number one. As illustrated in the figure, Line A is parallel to line B and are cut by the transversal C. Given that the measure of angle 4 is equal to 74, find the measures of angle 1, angle 2, and angle 3 and give the postulate or theorem used. First, let's solve for the measure of angle 1. Based on a given figure, angle 1 and angle 4 are corresponding angles. Then, we can say that angle 1 is congruent to angle 4 by corresponding angles postulate. Since angle 1 and angle 4 are congruent, we can say that the measure of angle 1 is equal to the measure of angle 4 by the definition of congruent angles. The measure of angle 4 is equal to 74 as stated in the given. Therefore, the measure of angle 1 is also 74 by substitution. Next, let's solve for the measure of angle 2. Angle 2 and angle 4 are same side interior angles. With this, we can say that the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 4 is equal to 180 by same side interior angles theorem. Again, 
the measure of angle 4 is equal to 74 as stated in the given, then we have the measure of angle 2 plus 74 is equal to 180 by substitution. And by addition property of equality, the measure of angle 2 is equal to 180 minus 74. Combining like terms or combining similar terms, the measure of angle 2 is equal to 106. Let's now solve for the measure of angle 3. Angle 3 and angle 4 are alternate interior angles. Considering this, we have angle 3 is congruent to angle 4 by alternate interior angles theorem. And by the definition of congruent angles, we can say that the measure of angle 3 is equal to the measure of angle 4. Once again, it is stated in the given that the measure of angle 4 is equal to 74. Therefore, the measure of angle 3 is equal to 74 by substitution. Let's proceed to example number 2. Find the values of x and y given that segment SA is parallel to segment RT. Let us solve first for y. From the given figure, three angles form a straight angle, namely angle MSA, angle AST, and angle TSR. Since a straight angle has a measure of 180 degrees, then we can use this concept to create an equation and solve for y. And that is the measure of angle MSA plus the measure of angle AST plus the measure of angle TSR is equal to 180. By substitution, 60 plus y plus 54 is equal to 180. Combining similar terms, we have 114 plus y is equal to 180. And applying addition property of equality, we have y is equal to 180 minus 114. With this, what do you think is the value of y? Correct y is equal to 66. Now, let's solve for x. Based on the given figure, angle MSA and angle SRT are corresponding angles, and corresponding angles are congruent. Hence, angle SRT is congruent to angle MSA by corresponding angles postulate. With this, we can say that the measure of angle SRT is equal to the measure of angle MSA. And by substitution, we have X is equal to 60. Can you still follow our discussion? Great! Let's have the last example. Example number 3. Given parallelogram SAME, find the measure of angle ASE. To find the measure of angle ASE, we need to solve first for the value of x. Since SAME is a parallelogram, then its opposite sides are parallel. So, side SA is parallel to side EM, and side SE is a transversal. Then, angle ASE and angle SEM are same side interior angles. Applying this information, we have the measure of angle ASE plus the measure of angle SEM is equal to 180 by same side interior angles theorem. By substitution, we have quantity X plus 10 plus X, quantity X minus 30 is equal to 180. Combining similar terms, we have 2x minus 20 is equal to 180. And by addition property of equality, we have 2x is equal to 180 plus 20. By simplifying the equation, we have 2x is equal to 200. 
and applying multiplication property of equality, we have x is equal to 100. Now that we know the value of x, we can now solve for the value of, or for the measure of, angle ASE. Again, x is equal to 100. In the given, the measure of angle ASE is equal to x plus 10. Substituting x by its value, we have the measure of angle ASE is equal to 100 plus 10. Therefore, the measure of angle ASE is equal to 110. Were you able to grasp all the information that we have discussed today? That's great! Now, let's enrich your understanding in this lesson by doing an activity called Show Me Your Emoji. In this activity, you are going to apply the properties of parallel lines cut by a transversal in answering the question given in each item. What you need to do is to comment the emoticon that corresponds to the correct answer. You will be given 10 seconds to answer each question. Ready? Let's begin. Item number one. Given that line M is parallel to line N and the measure of angle 5 is equal to 57, what is the measure of angle 1? Is it 57 or 66? Comment the emoji that represents your answer. Go! Time is up. The correct answer is 57. Angle 1 and angle 5 are corresponding angles and corresponding angles are congruent. Next, let's have item number 2. What is the measure of angle 3? State the postulate or theorem that justifies your answer. Is it 123 by same side exterior angles theorem or 123 by same side interior angles theorem. Comment the emoji that represents your answer. Ready? Go! Time is up. The correct answer is 123 by same side interior angles theorem. Great job! Let's proceed to item number 3. Given that line U is parallel to line B, what is the value of X? Is it 86 or 43? Comment the emoji that represents your answer. Timer starts now. Time is up. The correct answer is 43. Nice work. Now, for the last item, given line 1 is parallel to line 2, what is the value of x? Is it 32 or 40? Comment the emoji that represents your answer. Go! Time is up. The correct answer is 32. Were able to answer all the questions correctly? You did an excellent job, grade 8 students. Congratulations! To summarize our lesson for today, here are some of the key points. Parallel lines are two coplanar lines that never intersect and Transversal is a line that intersects two or more lines at different or distinct points. The postulate and theorems of parallel lines cut by a transversal are the following. Corresponding angles postulate, alternate interior angles theorem, 
alternate exterior angles theorem and same side interior angles theorem and the properties of parallel lines cut by a transversal are corresponding angles are congruent alternate interior angles are congruent alternate exterior angles are congruent and same side interior angles are supplementary it is now time for the Q&A. If you have questions about our lesson, please type it in the comment section below. One of our student viewers asked, does one given measure of an angle enough to find the measures of the remaining angles if parallel lines are cut by a transversal? The answer is yes. Using the properties of parallel lines cut by a transversal, we can find the measures of the remaining angles. If you have queries that were not addressed earlier, you may ask your respective math teacher and he or she will gladly discuss it on your follow-up discussion. For your home learning task, kindly take a screenshot of the activity posted on your screen. Thank you so much for watching and participating, and I hope that you learned so much in our discussion today. Stay safe, healthy, and motivated. Goodbye!